how to print orders from Shopify step by step. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with printing orders on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing you might wonder is what does printing an order mean? Well, whenever you receive a order on Shopify, you usually have to label it and put on a print for the delivery instructions, delivery information on the package that you will be sending out. So that is the printing that you have to do and you can create those invoices manually. However, Shopify allows you to create your own DIY invoices or your basic checkout slips or packing slips as you might refer to them. And your packing slips should all have a similar theme. So that is why using Shopify's default packing slips can be a great option. And then you can spruce them up a little to build your own brand aesthetic. So let's get started with printing orders from our Shopify store. So to do that, first off, you're going to open up your Shopify dashboard. Once you open up your Shopify dashboard, click on orders on the left. Now. Once you click on orders on the left, select any order of your choice. So this is a simple order that I have over here. Now in this order on the top right, I have the option to click on more actions. And once you click on more actions, you have two sections over here. So one section is to print the order page. And this is usually done just for record keeping and is usually something that you don't have to use. Second and the most important step is printing your packing slips. So just click on print package slip and then Shopify by using its default theme will generate your packing slip for you. So it says the quantity, the item, and then who this is being sent to as well. The order number, the date, and your branding. Then you also have your contact info. Now this is one order fulfillment and you can go on ahead and proceed to any of your orders that have been placed in your Shopify store. Let's say we have this one. I can click on more actions, click on print order packing slip, and now this will generate a slip. Now, this might be variable for orders that you are going to be fulfilling by a third party supplier. So if you have any items that you are drop shipping, you might want to go into Shopify and you're going to go ahead and print your packing slips. However, you want to download these packing slips from the top right corner. And once you download these, you want to forward them to the dropshipping supplier, whether it be from CJ Dropshipping, Deezers, or any other third party service. So you usually want to forward those so your actual supplier can use the same Shopify theme that you have in your packing slips. So all of your orders are consistently sent out with the same packing slip. So moving on from our basic printed orders, we might want to elevate our packing slips and you know, you might want to make it a bit more interesting. So how can you make it more interesting? Well, first off, you have a basic packing slip, you have a basic order page, so you have this order page over here as well. You also have the option to print out your entire order page, but there is something that can feel a bit hollow in your packing slips. So if you want to customize the appearance, click on settings on the bottom left. Once you click on settings on the bottom left, you are going to click on apps and sales channels on the bottom left as well and then open up the Shopify app store. Now, once you open up the Shopify app store, search for order printer over here. And once you search for order printer, you will see there are quite a few different applications or integrations available in Shopify that can help you in building your own printed order invoices, receipts, packing slips, and more. Now, you can see over here, there is this application called Order Printer Pro. This allows you to auto deliver invoices, packing slips, codes, and more. And what you can do is you can control the type of info you want to display. And they have a free version where you can design or print out upwards of 50 orders per month, print and export in bulk, as well as export your drafts as well. Now I'm going to just click on install over here to get started with the installation of this plugin. 
Now, once we click on install once more, we can complete the installation of Order Printer Pro into our Shopify store. And once it has been integrated, you will see on the left, you have the application. So we're going to click on next, 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 next. And we are going to start our free trial on this application. So what I'm going to do is I am going to click on approve. And once we click on approve over here, we can get started with designing our you know, invoices. So once you have synced this up, you will see even on order printer pro you will have all of your orders and if you click on your orders you will actually see the receipt has now been elevated so instead of it just being a very basic packing slip like this it has now been elevated to this where it displays the item that you want the price the tax the quantities subtotals shippings gsts total amount and the total amount paid then your basic communication or you know your basic contact info on the top right they also have a tax invoice the date the payment method as well as the shipping rates so this can just be super amazing to print out these types of slips so this is our basic receipt and then if you want to print out a packing slip you can go on ahead and just click on packing slip and this is going to be a simple packing slip then if you want to add a code for draft orders, you can add that or a refund slash credit note. Now you also have the option of actions and you can export this PDF or you can just click on print on the right to get started with printing this type of order from Order Printer Pro into your packing slips, into your packaging, as well as any of the orders that you receive. Now there are other tools that you can use for this purpose as well. Now, it might include the PDF invoice order printer, such as Wi-Fi order printer. Keep in mind that for all of these applications, there is a limit to the free version. So on the free version, you can only use it to a certain extent. And for only 50 orders, after you surpass 50 orders, you have to go for either the starter growth or skill version. The starter version allows you to print upwards of 500 orders. And then the growth version allows you to print upwards of 5,000, which is why the growth one is the most valuable of all of their plans available because it integrates the features that you are going to need with a balance in your pricing. However, one thing to note is that for small businesses that are just starting out, I would never tell you to use a premium plugin to build your packing slips and your order or your receipts because even with the default versions available on the Shopify store, they will serve their purpose and you can scale your business's aesthetic up later when you have the extra revenue to do so. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you are now able to get started with printing your own orders on Shopify. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or queries, leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.